previous video we talked about the backend and this video is in continuation of the previous video so I have the exactly same code where we deployed the managed disk in the existing ARG resource group and we kept the state file in the storage account on the Terraform container as a name of theta.terraform.tf state file. And today we are going to talk about how Terraform keeps the discrepancies or the issues away if multiple people are referring to the same state file. Hi, my name is Arun and you're watching Terraform with Azure series. And let's get started. So, in order to make this scenario more comprehensive, let me show you a few things. Uh, let me present you rather DevOps Engineer 1. Okay. We have DevOps Engineer 2. And we would have we would have DevOps Engineer 3. I'm just trying to explain the scenario and how Terraform takes care uh, helps us. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. So these three DevOps engineers are working on Terraform, which is the tool for IAC and to, to keep the state of the infrastructure there is a TF state file. We already covered that part and we know it. Okay. So what is happening right now? These three engineers, these three engineers work with Terraform and they keep the Terraform state file in Azure storage account, the common place. Okay. We know we have already covered why they do that, why, what is the beauty, what is the requirement. Everything is covered in the previous videos. So right now, these three engineers are keeping their state files in the Azure storage account. Okay, And we know we go with the layered approach. Okay. suppose this is this is data.tf state file similarly we would have the other state files as per the code maybe this is compute.tf state file or similarly we may have one more or two more maybe many more depends on how you have designed your IAC. Let's suppose we have these three different TF state files. Now, the situation that I'm talking about is let's suppose these through these two engineers right now, DevOps one and DevOps three are working or referring to data.tf state file together. He's sitting at his home. He's sitting at his home. They are not aware like both are working to it and they're both Doing something with the code and trying to apply and you know modify and destroy running the terraform commands now how come terraform keeps the discrepancies away or kept the state file isolated okay so to answer this question Terraform has this wonderful feature called lock or rather I would say it will acquire the lease and lock it okay what it would do it would acquired the lease acquired the lease of uh, state files stored in the storage account and put the lock on and it also tag it so that you know 
who is locking it it's the terraform which is locking it with the value okay now i can show you this in the actual environment that will help you understand it better so this is our code right here and this is the terraform.state file you can see let me show you this is the data.terraform.tf state file this is the same file because we started from the same uh, where we left in the previous video this is what we deployed same code we have this is the exactly same code nothing changed so we have kept the state file in the storage account and once you click on it you see you can click here acquire lease right nothing is here in the metadata now what do i do let me try to add this code right here just to show you you can you can up you can run the terraform without even amending anything right now even though it would acquire the lease and put the lock on but it would be for a small period of time i would not be able to show you that's why i'm adding this small piece of code which will add the resource group named test rg in west us okay now let me do terraform apply okay now as soon as it hits it says acquiring state lock this is what i'm talking about this is the feature let me minimize this and let me refresh this part first i'll click here and you'll see this is grayed out now it has been acquired the lease has been acquired and lock has been placed you can see the metadata terraform lock id now this particular state file is locked this is locked now everything is grayed out you see you cannot change anything it would be state lock until the command is over right now it is asking for yes or no of course let's suppose i put no so that i could show you the lock has been released it says releasing state lock and if i refresh you see it's released the key value has been lost all right that's how terraform takes care of it well thank you for watching you have a good day let's meet in another video bye bye